I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. If I could just choose one smoothie that everyone knows and absolutely loves, I would say a strawberry banana smoothie. But I'm going to show you how to elevate your strawberry banana smoothie and make it a hundred times better with just one simple add-on. So let's get started. It's so simple, of course. All you have to do is you're going to add in some milk. You can use whatever milk you want. You can use a dairy alternative. You can use straight up dairy milk, whatever you like. I like using a coconut almond milk blend. I'm gonna add that right into my blender first. You wanna add your milk in first so that your blender really kind of like absorbs the milk into all the other ingredients. That's another key to perfect smoothieing. And then I have a banana here. So I have a banana in a bag. This is a frozen banana. All I did was just peel the banana and pop it in a plastic bag and freeze it. Takes about eh, an hour or so to freeze. I usually just keep them on hand. I'm gonna slide that right in. And then of course, strawberries. I have lots of strawberries here. You just wanna take your strawberry and you wanna hull it, which means to take off that green part, just like this. And then you can either halve or quarter them depending on the size of your strawberries. And you just wanna pop those right into your blender. I did a bunch earlier. And that's usually where everybody stops, right? Strawberry banana smoothie, really, really simple. But the key ingredient is an orange. I like to use about half of an orange. You can use just a navel orange or a cara cara orange, whatever you wanna use. This adds just a slight citrusy component that is game changing in the smoothie. It's totally amazing. It also adds a little bit more fruit, a little bit more nutrients for your after your workout or on the go. And then all you have to do is just blend it up. If you can get your blender to shut. I usually start by pulsing. Just to get all those ingredients combined with the milk. It creates a little swirl whirl, if that's a word. And then I turn it to medium and just let it go until it's nice and smooth and creamy. So it's been about a minute. It looks nice and smooth and smoothie -y. <laughs> And all you have to do is just pour it in your favorite container. You can also just store it in the fridge until you wanna drink it. It saves really well for a couple of days in the fridge. Look at that pretty color. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, cheers. Mm. So creamy. And the highlight is that little tiny bit of citrusiness right at the end, right when you swallow, that cuts the richness of the banana, highlights the strawberries. Cheers to this. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. What is going on? 